girl miss make me over how are you all i am feeling fabulous um i think i actually look kind of fabulous too i don't know what do you think Anyway, so I know it's been about three or four weeks, and I'm so sorry, guys, but um, there has been a lot going on in my life, okay? First of all, work. Work has been working me. Uh, I just decided to, like, pick up, you know, more hours at work and do, a, you know, a few more things. You know, we always like to chase that paper. Um, but uh, one of the real reasons why I haven't really been active on my YouTube channel is because... First, before I get into this conversation, um, fellas, if you're listening, you may not want to listen. This is really like a girly kind of video today, and just want to touch on some um, uh, issues that is that has come up, you know, along my weight loss journey that I think is important for me to share because, like I said before, I'm a very transparent person, and you know, there could be somebody else out there going through the same thing that I'm going through, and they're not speaking about it, and maybe they couldn't find any research on it, or I don't know. Anyway, so one of the things that has been changing uh, with my body functions, and first. Let me put this on the record because I know as soon as I start talking this, you know, people are going to, you know, probably totally freak out and think, oh my gosh, you need to go see a doctor. Oh my gosh, um, that's not normal. Okay, so first I want to set the record straight. I have seen a doctor. I have been talking with the doctor and I am absolutely healthy and okay. I'm not dying. I'm not sick. I'm having no crazy disease, nothing like that. But I just want to talk to you ladies about this. So we know... Um, as bigger women, one of the things that interferes, I hope you all can see me too, like, cause this is, the sun is really, really bright and what I'm looking at, you know, I don't know. Anyway, um, one of the things that occurs with us women, um, when we are overweight, now this is not every woman, okay? I'm just, you know, speaking for some women who are obese or considered obese. One of the things that happens is their period stops. It's almost like you never get a period. You can go like a whole year without a period sometimes. And it's very irregular and it's very like so not normal. And it's actually, actually you kind of get comfortable with that fact that you don't get a period. Because we all know what comes with that. Um, cramps. I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't say period. I don't know how you all may feel about that, but menstrual cycle, um, maybe I should say that instead, that may be a, a more, uh, I don't know, a, a more healthier way of, uh, or mature way of describing the situation, to me, I feel like it is what it is, a period of menstrual cycle, who cares, it's the same thing, but anyway, um, but I wanted to share with you all what I've been going through with that because in, in hope, in, in case somebody else is going through that situation and maybe they're totally freaking out about it. But anyway, like I was saying, most obese women, um, their menstrual cycle, um, kind of stops, you know, and then when it does come, it's just so weird. So it's like an irregular period or no period at all. Sorry, menstrual cycle, whatever. Anyway, so... Um, I have always, my cycle has always been irregular since I came on my menstrual cycle when I was 14 years old and I never forget it. I was at school, I was at gym and it is this girl, um, her name was Crystal and I will never forget her. I don't know where she is now, but I will never forget her. And she, I think her last name was Smith, Crystal Thomas. Or Thompson, Crystal Thompson, I think. Uh, she, she looked kind of Puerto Rican to me. She had really pretty hair. But I'll never forget the fact she helped me out because I was just like really at school, at gym, the worst place. We're in ninth grade, really. This has happened to me with a nightmare. So I've always had an irregular menstrual from that day on and horrible cramps from that day on. And as I matured and my body matured and I picked up more weight, my period, my menstrual cycle became more irregular each time. And you know, I really didn't care. I was young, having fun, doing my thing. I was thinking about that period. If it came, I would plug it, pad it, whatever. I didn't. I wasn't thinking about it. Um, as I got older, as I was developing and turning into a woman, I noticed that I was not having menstrual cycles at all. And I'm like, 
like, what is this? It would come, but I could go like six months without a menstrual cycle. That's a half a year, you know. But, you know, it, it really didn't concern me. When I was 18, um, they put me on some birth control pills, not because I was sexually active, because I wasn't sexually active at 18. Mm -hmm. uh, but what they did was they the birth control pill stops and restarts your cycle to keep it functioning. But I, I took it, but I didn't stick with it, you know. I took it for the 10 days, it stopped it, started it, but I wasn't going to continue to take those birth control pills. I just wasn't. I was young and I didn't care. I was like, okay, it stopped it, it started I'm good, I guess. You know, I wasn't thinking I had to get, you know, I had to re get refills on it. I didn't really care what I'm saying. So... Since I've been on this, wanna fast forward to now. Since I've been on this weight loss journey, um, my cycle has been a concern of mine because I do want more children. Um, I have one, and I do want more children. And I know that if you're overweight and your cycle isn't on, sometimes that could, I don't know, maybe that could be a, a pause in having children like you won't get pregnant I don't know that for a fact um, but I've heard other people's situations like that who were obese uh, also I don't I do not um, well when I had my son when I got pregnant with my son I hadn't seen my cycle in almost a year so when I got pregnant I was like oh because I thought since it wasn't coming on, you know, I wasn't ov ovulating the way that uh, a woman with a normal cycle was. But I guess I, I, guess I was. Like, I guess I was. Because he sure was there. I was like, positive what? Well. But he's my little blessing. But anyway, back to the um, situation at hand. I have not really been consistent with my exercising for the past three weeks. Because... My cycle has been horrific. I'm not going to go into no details, but I'm going to say this. It has been a living nightmare all across the globe. Some things I've never in my life, ever seen before. So... It, it brought up some concerns to me. Again, I don't want to be graphic, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you because I just feel like it may help somebody else. And I really want you guys to know, also, I have not stopped my journey at all. I'm still losing weight. I'm just losing. Like, these past three weeks, I have not lost a significant amount. I think maybe I lost about... <sighs> maybe about five or ten pounds. Um... Or something like that. I gotta go and look at the numbers again. I think it was about 10. So yeah, that's pretty good for three weeks. That's good. But it was not through exercise. It was totally through eating because my menstrual, it was so horrific. I could not, I couldn't do workouts every single day. I could not, I couldn't. I just couldn't. Um, I did do some, but I just, and it, the whole thing, cycle thing was totally draining me like totally it felt like it was pulling the energy out of my out of myself yes I'm a tiny bit anemic yes I take things I take vitamins for my for that for me being anemic but I drink a lot of water that water that I was drinking was sustaining me honestly because if I wasn't drinking enough water I'd probably been passed out on the street somewhere I'm trying to tell you I felt like a faucet that would not stop like you just turn the faucet on and go to bed and let it run all night. It was horrific. It was horrific. And then um, I noticed that, you know, I I noticed that I was clotting. And, no, they were not dime size and, no, they were not quarter size. Yes, I, I was like, what in the world? You know, so it, it did bring up some concerns to me, and I did go get myself checked out. And what is happening to my body, in all, in all honesty, it is recalibrating itself. So these things that I see that will totally make someone freak out if they've never seen it before, it is actually a sign of a, re, a body recalibrating. For me, I'm only speaking for me, I advise you, whatever changes you're having with your body, go see a doctor. 
doctor. Don't guess and don't assume. Um, cause I think it was one time my during these uh, few weeks I freaked out so bad I went to the ER. Okay, I didn't even call the doctor. I went straight to the emergency room. I'm like, oh my god, what is happening to me? And they told me everything is fine. No cysts. No no um tumors, my uterus, they would say that they were actually shocked at how great my ovaries and my uterus and my walls and all that, but because of the situation that they had at hand, they were, I mean, the doctor even looked like, what in the world, you know, so, um, the fact of the matter is, when I did go see a doctor, um, it's the body recalibrating itself. Again, my body. I'm not speaking for anybody else, but I'm just letting you know that just because you bleed heavy or, you know, you may clot some, it is not anything to be afraid of. It is actually something that could possibly be normal, and you may just have some sort of underlying issue with your uterus there. Um, and what happens is, I scientifically, I can't explain it, the uh, um, politi politically politically correct way but what happens is when you are heavier with your menstrual cycle and the um, blood is rushing through to the uterus it's something that takes place that doesn't happen in enough time because it's so much blood um, rushing at once that it gets to a clot and that is what you will produce through your body when you go to the bathroom to you know take care of your, yourself so it's not like it's clotting because you have tumors or anything like that. That is just your cycle forming into one. And it's releasing itself. So as long as it's coming out, you're good. But I wanted to I wanted to talk about that because um, I thought it was important to share with you all why I wasn't doing videos. Because I'm telling you, it totally blew my mind. Like, totally, I was busted. Like, I was exhausted. I did a lot of crying because at, at the first glance, I didn't know what it, I didn't know what was happening to me. And I'm like, I'm taking care of my body, but I feel like I'm something else is going on that's wrong. And so, with that said, if you find anything that's that doesn't seem normal to you with your weight loss process, don't panic, don't freak out. Just go to the doctor and see what they tell you because the body remember the body has to heal itself you can have things laying dormant in your body and didn't even know it and so the natural reaction of the physical body is to, to begin to heal itself because you're starting to take care of yourself so things are going to shake and quake in your body because it's trying to readjust and, and, and take some balance um and get you on balance and get you on track and it may not happen like overnight it may be actually a process so you may have to go through a little something because I'm gonna tell you I've been going through a little something this is only a tiny bit of some of the stuff that I have literally physically been going through in this weight weight loss journey and I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna be real honest with you you know um, it was a point where I wanted to say you know what I quit because I felt like, you know, a lot of people were losing weight and feeling better, and I felt like I was losing weight and feeling worse, you know, so to to be quite frank with you, in all honesty, I have really gone through a physical, physical transition, or let me change that, I am really going through a physical transition here, it is not just mental with me it is physical and mental and those two on top of each other is just a whole lot for me and I have to find what well, I have found peace and, and and found a way to stay grounded in this because I'm not going to go into some of the other stuff that's been happening to me because I right now I, I don't I, right now I don't I do not feel everybody will will understand what I'm going through because I think everybody's um, <clears throat> process is totally different and I've never spoken to anybody else who has been as large as me or larger and has gone through a process physically the way I'm going through it and so I'm going to tell you when I do get right 
And when I mean right, when I get right in that place that I'm healthy and my and I'm shapely and my body looks, you know, great and I can get out of the plus size clothes and people can give me stuff and I don't have to worry about the sizes and all of that, I'm going to appreciate feeling that feeling of I'm healthy, I'm strong, I have a clear mind. I don't I mean, I'm telling you, I mean, it is just it's, it's a lot, and this is why, for me, I decided to do my journey with God, because I knew, I, I knew that, I, first of all, I couldn't do it without Jesus, I couldn't, I could not, I can't sit here and even tell you that it's all me, it is the strength that he gives, that he puts in me, that I'm able to even do it, and years ago, I used to try to do it so fast, and it is going so slow right now, and that is absolutely fine with me, because there are things that I am learning about this whole thing, about this whole process, about myself, and about what I'm supposed to be uh, putting in my body, and how I'm supposed to be doing it, and um, I'm meeting other people who are on the journey with me, and they they almost, they sound like me years ago, and they sound like me today, um, it, it, it's not a rush, rush thing um, for me, I, I was just rushing to to do everything, and I needed to really take my time with this, and I'm just grateful to be alive, to be given a second chance to get the weight off. I'm going to say that. So from this point on, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back because that cycle is off. And I don't know what the next one will look like, but I wouldn't let them give me, excuse me, birth control pills because, again, that defeats the purpose of trying to get your organs healthy because those birth control pills, for me, I'm not happy with um, side effects they may cause. And... I honestly don't like FDA approved anything. So, you know, you can't listen to me. You got to go do what you do. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm no doctor. I can't tell you about your body or your life. I'm not, um, I am, I don't have that education to do that. Um, you must go see your doctor because April is not the physician here, okay? Um, I just do what I do with my life and my body and that's it. And I, I gave you the information so you'll know that if something weird was to happen, don't freak, don't panic, just go see a doctor and see see what it is. But I just want to say, you know, I love you guys. Thanks for really supporting me and hanging there. And I pray I didn't lose any subscribers because I was gone so long because I know how y'all YouTubers do. You all will roll out on a sister. So I just thank you for supporting me and watching me. I am not done yet. I am still on this journey. Y'all see my neck? Look, look. Soon y'all going to see my collarbone. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Call the bones. Look, we almost there. We almost there. We got a little bit, a little way to go. Um, but I'm gonna do another video tomorrow, and I'm gonna talk to you about this weight loss challenge that I just um entered in. Uh, it it's money included, um, money to win. So that changes things for me. <laughs> So, but I just thank you for watching me. I love you guys. I hope everyone is on their journey. Oh, I am still on a T25 journey. If you're not on my Facebook page, you won't know that. So you need to go to my Facebook page. You need to go find me on my Facebook. I always put it down, you know, my link, and you'll see. I have, they show me so much love on Facebook, so much love. I've had so many people jump on this T25 um, bandwagon with me. It is not funny, and it is awesome. We got good support groups. Um, you probably you probably didn't even friend me on, uh, fan page me either on my miss, uh, my 300 pounds is whack. Y'all need to do that. Like, stop doing that. Go, go on and um, become a fan of mine, like, and you can see, uh, and become a friend of mine on Facebook. You'll see people are is really they're really supporting the journey, and and I'm just so excited for them. I'm not excited for me. I mean, I'm excited for me, but I'm excited for them because these are people that are like, you know what? I'm about to get up and exercise. That excites me because if you can change one person, that is like a domino effect. Because I get people calling me all the time. Oh. Somebody on my friend list saw me post your stuff up on their page, and they're like, oh my gosh, how's she doing? How's she doing? I think I'm going to get up and exercise. If she can do it, I can do it. That's the whole point. If I can do it, you can do it. If you can do it, they can do it. And it just, it's a domino effect, y'all. We got to get healthy. We cannot let uh, this manufactured food and all this craziness just take us out. Y'all, we got to get it right. We got to get it right get it tight. And plus, it's getting hot out there. And I know you sisters, y'all want to look like dime pieces all the way down to your shoes, okay? So, 
thank you for watching. I love you guys. This is Miss Make Me Over. You are the best. Bye. Thank you.